in our classes so far we had seen how to create the table and also we had seen how we can view the details available in the table with the help of select statement and also in one of the classes we had seen how to insert the records into the table though we didn't dive deep into the concept of insertion of data and viewing the details available in the table in depth but we had seen a overview how we can do the same but what if you are having a requirement wherein you have to create the table or you have to insert the record only for that particular session and when you log off from your session the data should be completely removed from the table or table itself should be removed from the database when the session times out or you log off from the session. Now we will look how we can achieve the same in the Oracle's database. In Oracle there are two kind of temporary tables available one is a global and the private. So temporary tables in short they are used to store the specific data for a particular session. Suppose I am connecting to a database now and it will create a session for that particular duration until when I am using that database or interacting with the database. So this is in short called as a session though session depends on lot of other factors as well but for simplicity purpose I am giving you this definition. So until and unless you are connected with the database that particular duration is called as one session. Suppose you log off or due to some connectivity issue the connection breaks and you try to reconnect again then it will create one more session for you. Now in Oracle there are two kind of temporary tables one is a global and private. Now let's see what is the global temporary table and the private temporary table. In global temporary table the syntax is shown over here we need to add this global temporary earlier when we used to create the table we used to write directly create table. Now in order to create the global temporary variable we need to add this clause that is create global temporary table in case of private it will be something like create private temporary table we will come to this private couple of minutes later now in global temporary in this case the definition will be permanent meaning when you create any table the definition of the table will persist in the database forever suppose if you want to check the definition of the table like in definition it will have the metadata of the table like the name and the data type available and also details about what is the primary key within the table and what are the constructs available what is the foreign key so and so forth things so this comes under the definition of the table so whatever you define for a table all the definition will persist indefinitely until you drop that particular global temporary table but the data whatever you are inserting into the global temporary it will be persisting until you are using that particular session in which you have inserted the record suppose i am connecting to this live sql right now and i will continue to use for next 10 minutes and i will insert the records into this global temporary in those 10 minutes so those 10 minutes i can be able to view the records which have inserted into the table and also one more thing while using global temporary is whoever is having access to this particular schema meaning the table in which schema it is being created now suppose if you are giving access to your subordinates like the team member one team member two to this schema then they will be able to access or view the details of the table and also they can also view the data available in the table until your session timeouts so during your session whoever is having the access to those global temporary variables they will be able to view the definition as well as they will be able to view the records available in the table so as soon as the session timeouts neither you nor other people whoever is having access to the table can view the details or view the records available in the table because the records will be wiped off or deleted once the session times out. So this is how the global temporary tables work. Now let me just run this global temporary variable clause it will tell you table has been created. Now you might get a question like how we can verify from the back end with the help of user tables whether the table is created a temporary or not we can run this statement over here which we had seen in our previous class now let me just drag this over here here if you see you, you will see that temporary clause is set to y now whatever data we have inserted into this global temporary variable it will be visible only for that particular session at the beginning of the class i had told you i will be using this session for next 10 minutes so during this duration whatever records i have inserted into the table i can view the details and also my team members whoever is having access to this schema within which I have created the table they will also be able to view the records. Now contrary to this there is one more type of temporary table in oracle that is a private. In case of private temporary table 
the only difference over here is in the clause instead of global we write over here the private apart from that the syntax will look similar now in this case the definition will be deleted from the database once the session timeouts along with that the data will also be deleted now data will be deleted in case of global as well as in private but definition will be persisting in case of global but in private the definition itself will be removed this is the difference between private and temporary table now you can use either type of temporary table as per your use case or the business requirements now let me just run this create table clause so i am getting a message like table created now apart from private temporary clause we need to append this aura and the dollar symbol before the table name then only we can create a private temporary table in oracle's database now in order to know whether the table has been created we will be running this user tables query let me run this now you observe the results from this select query we are not getting the details of private temporary tables over here we can only see the global temporary variable records so the database won't write the definition details in the user tables because these are temporary tables the definition won't exist in the database and it will be only session specific so oracle won't write this to the user tables also if you specifically run a query wherein you provide the table name then also you won't get the details you will be only getting the details of standard tables and the global temporary tables for whom the definition should persist in the database and private temporary table definition as it is not persisting in the database the details are not available in the user tables in this class we had seen two types of temporary tables in oracle's databases one is global temporary variable and private temporary variable in case of global definition of the table will be persisting in the database but the records whatever you insert will be deleted once the session timeouts contrary to this there is a private temporary table in which the definition as well as the records what you insert neither will be available in the database once the session times out so those are completely are true temporary kind of tables